Good morning, traders, and welcome to the start to finish. Uh, I don't know if it'll be the wrap up today or not, but continuation of the eBay earnings calendar trade. So as you will recall, and I'm going to go ahead and put on my drawing tools here, but as you will recall, uh, last week I found what uh, I consider to be an excellent entry into an earnings trade. And in the eBay earnings trade, basically, I was able to come in and uh, sell, uh, in this case, the 39 strike uh, puts for $1.65. And I was able to then buy further out long puts for $1.71. Now, the difference between those two basically allowed me to enter this calendar for six cents per calendar. That means I've got six dollars in risk per calendar that I entered. Now, in this particular case, I ended up entering 10 of them. So I have essentially $60 in risk. But you can see that I have a pretty good tent here that has a fair amount of potential profit in it. Now, I'm never looking to attain that full potential profit. In order for that to happen, this thing would need to expire exactly at $39 next Friday because our short expiration isn't this Friday, it's next Friday. And the reason it's next Friday is because that's where I got the most favorable uh, entry price. Not sure why that was, but it was. So. Um, so this trade is not maybe even going to close out this week. But the combination of these two, again, I paid six cents. So I personally have an order setting out there right now waiting to close half of them at 12 cents. I don't know if that's going to hit this morning or not. One of the things that we're going to watch is on the open, um, I'm going to be, uh, I'll have the platform open here. On the open, we're going to see that this tent is going to shrink up considerably. Um, that's what happens after the volatility in this whole thing drops out. And, and that volatility, of course, drops out because the earnings took place last night. And after those earnings get announced, there's no more or a lot less, shall we say, uncertainty in the market volatility in the market and that's going to cause this tent to shrink considerably but let's just take a look and see so this is what ebay did okay so this was last night right after the close they had their earnings announcement and ebay plummeted and then it continued to sell off here in the after hours to now it's down to $37.25. So that's not gonna be ideal for this trade. That's gonna be uh, more of a sell off than what is going to work for us right now. So we could be looking at, or I could be looking at, a full potential loss on this trade. But again, I don't have to close anything until next Friday. So yes, I could be down $60 out of the gate here. Um, it, it might actually even show as a larger loss. It won't be, but it could show as a larger loss because the bid-ask spreads, uh, we can see bid-ask spreads here. I mean, they can get fairly wide. Now, these are not legitimate bid-ask spreads right now because our market isn't even open yet. But once it opens, we can see those bid ask spreads get wide, and it could even potentially show that the loss is greater than $60 in this trade. Um, but if it shows that, that really doesn't mean anything. I just simply wait until next Friday, and then I close the trade out then, um, and it should be right in that general uh, area. So um, I'm going to pause here. We're going to see what happens on the open, how this thing reacts, see if I might potentially be able to get out of half of these for 12 cents. Um, if I can, of course, that's a double my money. If I do fill on that, I may choose to sell a little bit more. <clears throat> Excuse me. I may also choose to hang on to a small portion, waiting until next week to see if eBay might potentially rally and put me back more toward the center of this tent for a larger potential profit. So anyhow, we'll see how everything plays out here shortly. I'm going <clears> to <throat> pause now, and uh, I'll be back upon the opening bell. 
Okay, so here we are about 30 seconds uh, before the open, and eBay is continuing to show its weakness here this morning. So I'm going to come over here to our PL diagram, <clears throat> and we're going to take a look and see how this reacts on the open. Again, uh, it will, um, it, it's not going to react instantly the second the market opens because the market maker will have to open up uh, their their desk and start trading this but once they do start doing that my expectation is that we are going to see this tent you know shrink considerably it's going to come in probably more along those lines and um, then we'll we'll have to well there's the opening bell so again we'll watch here a second uh, we can see right now that our break evens are theoretically, you know, out here around 36, and you know, somewhere up here. Well, you can see that 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 just dropped massively. Um, our tent just shrunk considerably. Oh, let me turn off the drawing tool so I can uh, move this over a little bit. And so, so that's where we're at right now. And this is showing right now approximately a $37, $38 loss. And see, see how it just jumped to $140? That's a result of that wide bid-ask spread that sometimes can happen in these trades. So, and now we just show, I mean, look how crazy this is. That would be awesome um, if I were to be able to get some sort of a fill out there. But that also is not going to be a real number at this point. That's going to be a result of a wide bid-ask spread. I personally have an order out there, uh, again, waiting to close a portion of my position at 12 cents. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that through some of this gyration here this morning that that might possibly hit. Um, but I, I haven't heard any order go off as of yet, so I, I don't think it's hit as of yet. Uh, if we look here at eBay, okay, so eBay showing a little bit of a bounce right here. Um, I mean, if it were to bounce up here into this, you know, 38 and a half range or so, um, that that could be awesome. I could get a potential fill. Um, I'm going to pause here and just look at my order and see if, if my order is uh, showing any favorability right now. Okay, yeah, so you can see in, on my order here at the very top of my page, I've got a number of other orders out here. Um, let me put my drawing tool back on. So you can see right up here, I've got my order out there at 12 cents. Uh, it's currently trading right around a nickel. So I'm, I'm not going to get filled with eBay where it is right now. However, if, you know, if eBay were to do a, a bit of a rally um, and, uh, you know, get up here into this 38 and a half, 39 range. And I've got until, again, next Friday. So my good deal cancel order is just going to set out there. And my expectation is that if eBay does continue to move up here a little bit, that uh, I will, in fact, end up getting a fill sometime in you know, maybe the next week, maybe by later this week, uh, if we do, in fact, continue to get this rally. Okay, so one additional thing I wanted to take a moment to share here um, before I, I sign off on this particular trade is I wanted to specifically note that this is my entry here. This is where the market was trading. I paid six cents to get into this calendar. Over here is a snapshot of pricing that I just took. Now, because the puts... Um, we're short these puts, they have increased in value because, of course, this is a 39 put and we're trading all the way down at 37.5. So those puts are going to go up in value, which is bad for me because I am short those puts. These, on the other hand, are long puts. Those long puts have gone up in value as well. They've gone up from, you know, roughly, uh, call it, you know, 90 cents or something like that is what they were showing 
uh, here this morning before the open, they've they've gone up to a dollar twenty three to a dollar sixty three, so they've gone up quite a bit also. But they haven't gone up proportionally as much as what these have, and that's why this position is at a slight loss right now. Uh, when I say a slight loss, I mean it's it literally um, I don't know a ten dollar loss uh, for the ten lot. Now, the other thing that you need to notice here is look how wide the bid-ask spread is. So we're looking at $1.18 to $1.61. That's a you know, 45 cent bid-ask spread, where when we bought this, our bid-ask spread was two cents. Same thing down here, we're looking at what, roughly a 40 cent wide bid-ask spread, where back when we bought these, well, actually, these aren't the prices from when we bought them, by the way. These were this morning's prices. But um, back when we bought these, the bid-ask spreads were very tight. So at the end of the day, that's part of the challenge that we're faced with now is that the bid-asks are very wide. That's why I always like to just put an order out there, let it sit, because as the market kind of bounces around through this wide bid-ask spread, well, maybe I'll get taken out at a favorable price, at a price that I'm wanting to, to fill at. So that's my goal or my objective here is to have my order setting out there and uh, you know, kind of see what happens on that order. Let me just uh, flip back here and I'll come to my monitor tab. Let me turn off my drawing and uh, come to my monitor tab and see we're up at seven cents now. So actually there's a little profit in this right now if I were to get filled at seven cents. Again, I'm, I'm kind of holding out hoping that, yeah, I'll get around 12 cents. Um, but I could maybe put an order out there right now for you know seven, eight, nine cents and, and pick up a couple of bucks. It's not gonna be enough to really even pay my commissions at that point, but it, it could keep me from um, ending up in a loss position in this trade. That's a possibility. So uh, let's just look at the chart here real quick and say, yeah, so eBay's trying to bounce back if it could break uh, above this um you know this what might be perceived as a little bit of a resistance area here because it's bounced up and and sold off that three four five times it could, if it can bust through there i would anticipate that it would not have a problem getting back up into the 39 range so that's what i i'm hoping for over the next few days maybe even next monday tuesday somewhere in that general range so again i have time on this trade because it does not expire my short does not expire until next week um, next friday so right now i just have a gtc order out there good to cancel order selling half my position at 12 cents if that happens i will have um, doubled my money on uh, half of my trade i entered 20 of them personally so i'll have doubled my money on half of those and then i'll set a new order based on where the market is based on my anticipation of the market um, maybe it'll be at also at 12 cents it more likely than not if we do get a rebound up into you know this area somewhere I will likely put a, a much higher price on that, maybe a, a 30 cent or something along those lines to where I might quadruple uh, my money on that small piece of that trade. So that's going to be my personal uh, plan or objective for this. Um, and uh, as always, please like, subscribe, give me any comments. And um, once uh, I do get a fill on this, I'll drop a note in there as well and just kind of update people uh, on that outcome. So that's it for right now. Take care, everyone.